Oh my gosh. I was not expecting this to happen. Sorry. Ooh. <laughs> I, I had to check something. I was not expecting this to happen. Okay, okay, well, let me start over. <laughs> I'm a little excited. Friends, I was not expecting this to happen today, but I knew that uh, once I realized that we had hit 100K for all the watercolor joy that's been happening here over the last year and a half or so, uh, that I wanted to pop on and celebrate live. And so we're here. We did it. Uh, this was not a goal that I had in mind. This was not a goal when I started all, well, restarted my channel that I was striving for. And then, I don't know, somewhere around 80,000, I was like, hmm. <laughs> I feel like you all wanted it, like, way more than I was thinking about it. So, anywho, but it is really exciting to me. I'm so glad you're here. This is a surprise live. We're going to get right down to painting soon. So, if you are watching on the replay, we're just going to keep celebrating. For as long as this video is up, this is a celebration. This is a landmark. And you know why this is a landmark? It's not for me. It absolutely is not for me. <clears throat> because I get so much joy and so much fulfillment out of this channel and this experience every single day that I'm, I'm doing this. But it's for you all. Because you found each other and you found this space. And it's a safe space. It's a space to kick fear in the butt. It's a space to put brush to paper and realize that the minute that color hits the page and explodes into the water, uh, something happens inside of us. Even if it's whatever we do on the page is a little ugly, we still feel something positive inside of us. And we've learned how to harness that. If you're new here, hello, hello, welcome. My name is Christy Rice. I'm obsessed with watercolor and I am here on this earth to teach you how to harness unshakable joy with watercolor and making art in general. So we're going to head down to the painting table really soon. Hello, Cherie. Hello, Jessica Lynn. Hello, Jane. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad you're all here. It's crazy that this many of you are here when this is unannounced. This is like hundred percent unannounced. Anywho, uh, we're going to, I'm, I'm still in like painting big zone. I, well, big for me is like 12 by 15, which I know is laughable for some. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, caffeinated slug. I love that name so much. <clears throat> you can't hear me? You can't hear me. Y'all, you can't hear me? Just somebody do a sound check. Someone said they can't hear me at all. Just, I want to make sure it's not me. Because I have, okay. We pay attention. Yay. Okay, you can hear. Congratulations. We pay. Yay. Hi from Belgium. Hi, Lean. So nice to hear you. Okay, great. Um, just make sure your both your volumes are turned up if you're on the computer and your actual YouTube volume. So <clears throat> awesome. Okay, so I've been painting bigger. Um, if you were here last week, I went live a bunch of times. I painted the cherries. The cherries have, have been getting some love. I still haven't changed the thumbnail on this one, but I will link this one below um, because it's a fun one and um, I'm gonna finish it at some point here. So, um, but I'm gonna go the same size here today. Let's actually get this off of the block. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like silhouettes today, just like a cool like all over pattern. I looked up Art Nouveau um, as I was like munching on some snack and getting ready to go live. And so, I don't know, maybe We'll see what happens. I, I truly don't know what's going to happen. But anyway, I am so grateful for all of you. I say that a lot. I hope it doesn't kind of anesthetize the message. But um, I am so grateful because uh, none of this would make sense. None of this would be necessary. None of this would 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 be what it is without y'all tuning in all the time. <clears throat> Uh, Nicole says, I told about 50 people about you and your channel this weekend. Thank you, Nicole. Oh my gosh. Um, hello from Norway, Allison Art Supply. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have been binge watching since I found you a few days ago. Just love everything. Um, Tambor, LYC. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you found us and um, super fun binge watching me. Normally people like binge watch the Netflix, but you know, I'm like the watercolor Netflix. Okay. I'm looking over here because I need to get my other screen up because you don't want to look at my face. You want to look at this, right? Right. 
All right, let's just adjust this because a little, little wonky wonk. I'm not sure what's happening here, but we're going to fix it. All right, Coolio. Okay, we're going to get painting. Sorry, my chair is obnoxious. We all know this. If you've been here painting with me for any amount of time, you know that my chair is annoying. Um, but we, we deal with it. Okay, so I'm painting with the Art for Joystick palette today. It's just shocking. Very excited that it is um, back. And yeah, I am also painting with some dirty paint water today because I realized that I, I'm literally going to show you. Hi, I was painting with gouache and that's why it looks milky. Uh, so but we, we, we're going to deal with it because I didn't realize it wasn't clean before I hit go live. I'm, I've just got all the brushes. I've got the Art for Joysake brushes. I've got the travel brush. There's a fun surprise coming with the travel brush next week. Um, I'll let you guess what's coming. I don't know. We've just, we've got all the brushes. Super fun. And look, just a reminder, the nails match the brushes. Anyway, I can't, I can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Won't stop, can't, I don't know how you say that. Hello, I discovered you today. Love your energy and your loose style. Thank you, Viviana. Thank you. <clears throat> Love that water bowl. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming fast. Yeah. So let's just get some marks. I'm going wet on dry. I kind of want to go muted today. Isn't that a shocker? I'm going to get my big brush. I'm going to get my half inch, uh, I'm sorry, my three quarter inch, hello, wash brush. And I'm going to mute out this red that was, this pinky red that was already on my palette with some of that peach. All right, I'm going to add a little water. I'm going to just get a nice big well of that. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to go, oh, do I want to go? I think I'm going to go number 12 and let's just see what happens. Let's just three, three. Hi. Oh my gosh. I was reading someone's comment and they said something about three. And I said, instead of let's just see, I said, let's just three. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a goofball I am. What a goofball I am. Let's just, I, I want to keep it, you know, this is so unplanned. We're going to keep it light and airy and simple with my classic five petaled, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to do some press and lift stuff. Um, reloading often because I almost, I want that paint to kind of bubble on the page. Um, so press and lift and I'm editing the shape afterwards because I, I pressed and lifted pretty quickly. Um, and so I didn't get that nice point. And then I'm doing just some, some marks. So I, I kind of want to create a pattern. Um, but I, you know, I, I'm a human. I'm not like a Photoshop. I'm not Photoshop here. So it's not going to be like a perfect repeat. It's just going to be something I give a go here. So let's just see where it takes us. So we're just going to make some leaf shapes, small, medium, and large. Let's put one over here. I love creating like very lazy patterns like this where you just kind of like, um, you kind of guesstimate where elements need to go and you, uh, the key to this type of like de development of a pattern is to just keep stepping back and seeing what needs to be repeated, what needs to be toned down, right? Um, so yeah, this is fun. Okay. Okay. So we've got this muted green. Uh, thanks, Connie. Connie says 103 on and only 23 boots. That's right, friends. If you're feeling like you're having a good time, you want to just say, hey, congratulations. A great way to do that is to give this video a boot, friends, and that is a like. And yeah, I don't know if you can do it when you're on the, the, the TV version of the YouTubes. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but you know, we do what we can. No plan here. No plan, Stan. This is just me rocking and rolling doing what i do i'm using like all of my comfort shapes what are those they're they're the the elements of a painting that i am very comfortable making that i make over and over again in paintings i have a whole video about comfort uh subject matter it's a great one to watch um, let's go back to this pinky color and let's get another one in here but i'm going to do like a downward facing and, but the same color, and then we're going to get some of those same kind of press and lift marks coming out, maybe down here. It's 
all over the place. It's okay. We're going to see where it goes. Thank you, Glormar. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Love having you here. You can boop on the TV. Okay. You use Roku. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I need to, I've been, oh wow. I'm using a lot of this, this pink, but I can remake it here. I'm going to have two trays of it. There's nothing wrong with that. A little more peach. All right. Now I've got two trays of it. All right. All right. It needs to be a little more muted. So a little more peach. All right. <clears throat> a little more water. Okay. Now, I feel like maybe another one, but larger right in here. The shape can be a little different. Why not? I'm leading with the tip of my brush, friends. I'm going to add this color is a little different. I'm leading with the tip of that brush. And then let's do some of these kind of repeat this shape just in a different color. Now, obviously, it's not going to be a perfect repeat because... Tis not a computer. No AI here, right? No AI here. All right, cool. I like this. This is fun. Get a little bit of this kind of, oh, this one's more green back in. I don't know what happened to this mixture. Hello. All right. A little bit going here, a little something here. And yes, this paint is puddling, is literally puddling on the page. It's kind of wild. I'm going to go straight in with the kind of the buff ivory uh, color in my palette. Friends, if you want to know exactly what I'm using, um, go ahead into the description. All the links are there. You will find everything you need. My palettes, my brushes, all the things. Everything is still in stock. However, the new brushes, the Free From Fear brushes, are definitely, um, they're not prime eligible right now because there's so much of the stock that we have is like in transit so they're not guaranteeing two-day delivery they are giving some kind of insane far out date for most locations in the u.s but um i i guess that my estimate is that they will arrive a lot quicker than what the actual amazon estimate is right now so just you know something to keep in mind if you're looking at that and you're like, what the heck did I not, did I like click off of Amazon? What is this madness? Um, because I know in Amazonville, we're used to super fast arrivals, but that's what's going on right now. Y'all just like, just completely uh, socked it to me in terms of my inventory. So it's a good thing, but it's kind of crazy for folks that didn't get theirs um, during launch week. So all right this is just fun i love this all right let's get on to another brush though i feel like i'm gonna i want to use um the dive right in brush which is the number six filbert and do a different type of flower maybe i'll go straight up peach and i'm just gonna press and lift around an invisible center press and lift and then i'm gonna kind of go off center press and lift press and lift Press and lift, press and lift, press and lift. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that pink and just kind of fill in where I feel like we need a little extra. I'm not pressing as hard now, so I'm getting a little bit of a um, thinner mark. Look how pretty that is. That's a lovely little like zinnia-like flower. Let's go do one of those somewhere else. Press and lift. Change the angle of your hand. Um, you certainly can change the angle of your paper if that is more comfortable for you physically. All right. Letting the paint run out on this one a little bit. We'll go ahead and later and do some centers. I like how this is rounding out the composition nicely. Let's do this one a little bigger with longer petals, like it's maybe a little bit more like an older bloom that's a little further along. All right, I'm gonna add some pink to my brush and continue on that outer that outer um, layer of petals. I still have the, the raw peach, the un, you know, the unmixed peach on my brush, but I'm adding that pink that I've been using elsewhere. Friends, if you're just popping on, this is a surprise live and it is a celebration of 100,000 
subs on this channel. It happened sometime overnight. When I went to bed, <clears throat> we were like 46 people away. Of course, I started watching it, like the, the kettle that never boils, the pot that never boils. Yeah, like around 9 p.m. last night, I said to my husband, I'm like, honey, we're like 400 away. And he's like, do you think it'll happen? I'm like, I don't know. So anyway, it happened. Um, super fun. It happened. It happened. All right, let's do some filler marks with the cat's tongue. I talked about this um, in, a in a live this past week where I was saying like, do we need all these brushes? I think it was in the live or it might've been in the instruction video. I don't know, it might've been both places. Like, do we need all these brushes? Absolutely not. Could you make all of these shapes with the number 12, with round, with a number six round? Absolutely yes. Would it take longer? Absolutely yes. Would it potentially be a little more frustrating, especially if you're a beginner? Absolutely yes. So this is the reason I love these type of brushes because they make more joyful work of painting. This isn't one stroke painting. I mean, this, what I'm doing here today feels probably the most like one stroke painting that you've ever seen me done or seen me do. Wow. Words. Hi, you can't painting and talking sometimes do not play. Just don't go together. Um, clearly that was an example of one of those times. Woo. Um, but, uh, so, you know, I feel like one stroke painting gets a bad rap. I mean, it was it reached its heyday kind of in, in sometime in the mid nineties, I think nothing wrong with it. It's still making art, still brings you joy. There is no, no judgment, but these brushes make the creation of really interesting strokes so much more effortless than if you have a more limited selection of brushes. Now, is that me telling you to go out right now and get these brushes if you don't have them? Absolutely not. You do what you feel comfortable with and what your budget dictates. Absolutely. I want you to make art with whatever you have. Whatever you have. Seriously, that is what's most important to me. But, you know, I made these brushes and I'm here talking about them. It is what it is, you know? Uh, okay, let's get, uh, I like the blue. The color palette is evolving as I go, which makes sense. Cause again, no AI here, just a gal with a palette mixing colors without a formula. That's how I roll. Right, right. Let's do some of these skinnier ones, kind of repeating this look here. A little bit of that here. One of the most um, surprising elements of my Art for Joy Sake palette that I hear all the time is like, I didn't realize I could mix all these muted colors because y'all know what the palette can do. It can do all this kind of crazy. Woo! Like put your sunglasses on, and but it's not that one trick pony, right? You know, I just did this during the live and I also did an extended version of this. Um, it, um, in the instruction video that comes free with your brush set, you know, and then obviously today, this is like your kind of like cottage vintagey palette. Love it. So, um, that's one of the little secret mysteries of this palette that you don't really discover fully until you get it in your hands and you start, um, experimenting. It's just so fun. All right. Let's do some more of this small stuff. I'm going to just kind of examine. I want my eye to be kind of swirling around this. So let's figure out where I need to add some of these smaller press and lift moments to make that happen. Swirling, swirling. We want some more coming down here, through here. Just talk to yourself. Talk your way through it, right? Some here to connect these two, a little thicker. Right. That one's a little wonky, but it's okay. It's okay, we're just having fun here. It's just paper, y'all. It's just paper, you know that. The brush tells you that. The brush tells you that, it's just paper. <clears throat> All right, 
let's get in back into this pink do another like side view downward facing simple shapes kind of all converging back at this point here let's do another one of those here but facing this direction subtly yeah 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 all right all right I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some more of these blue greeny faded colors so I have them ready to rumble I don't know how I got this color I was honestly mixing from a lot of the dirty stuff just sitting in my palette so who knows who knows where I actually started with some of these colors put a little little cap on this one letting it flow Put a little cap on this one remember holding your brush far down on the ferrule that's the metal part and a perpendicular hold can give you so much control especially if you're really trying to utilize the point of a brush um, especially in scenarios where maybe using another brush was probably a better choice but you know for whatever reason you didn't switch out the brush and you're really trying to extend the um the use of the brush that's in your hand currently hold it further down perpendicular hold that's going to give you the most control in in my experience you may have a different hold that works better and if you do have a different hold head into the comment section and let us know thank you mary i'm going to go try to answer some questions josie says one of my favorite colors is your in your palette is that amazing yellow i know i love it too <coughs> Bonjour from um, uh, Louisiana. How do we pronounce that? Thibodeau? I took French for four years. I should have said bonjour. No R on the end. Right? Right? Tell me if I'm right. Uh, so glad to have you here. I There's a lot of conversation about, I think, cats and people's laps, which I love. I opened YouTube and there you were. I had just finished How Lemons Change the Way You Paint. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, Myra. Did I say Mary? It's Myra. I don't know. Something's up with my brain today. It's a Sunday. I'm not used to, to like painting in front of the people on Sunday. I don't think I'm fully awake. I don't think I slept enough. I don't know what's happening. Anywho, let's put some green centers in these little zinnias just to kind of give them some oomph. There we go. All right, ooh, we need more zinnias. I'm, I'm loving, they're my favorite. They are my favorite. That brush is dirty. Yeek. All right, press and lift, press and lift. I am changing the angle of my hand, but you can feel free to change the angle of your paper if it's more comfortable. All right. This one's kind of facing this way, and I like that. So we're going to bring, oh, that's a lot of red. Hello. I'm going to just do some short ones over here, some longer ones over here to kind of exaggerate that side view effect. And then let's go down here and have one kind of coming off the page. Ooh, that's definitely more corally. It's okay. We just want to have enough so we can get that green center going. You all know I don't normally paint off the page because I'm always thinking about a repeat pattern down the road. I license my artwork. And when you go off the page, it can be harder to develop a repeat from it. But you know what? It's all right. We can handle the challenge. Yes, siree. Um, maybe some berries. Let's 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 do. Going with the cat's tongue. Loving this cat's tongue so much, so much. Look at that. How it comes up. Fine, fine. I'm trying to get a good spot here. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? No, that was the filbert I'm using for the zinnias. Yep, Filbert. Filbert, actually, before I do that, I, I feel like I want to get some more of these five petaled wonders here um, elsewhere. I'm going to add another layer to right here so they kind of 
match up. I'm going very like textile, monotone. I'm not doing as much crazy like watercolor explosion. It's very controlled, wet on wet or wet on dry, you know? That's kind of what I'm after today. A little bit of red, a little bit of that peach. That's pretty perfect. And then I think what I want is a larger one coming from off the page, right? So we're maybe only gonna see three petals or so, but we know very obviously that it's large and that it's more in scale with this one over here. Just talking you through my brain process, which can be terrifying. So hopefully it makes sense now, I'm kidding. Oh gosh, all right. I was listening to a podcast the other day and I loved what, um, it's a, I'll just say it's Colin and Samir. Colin and Samir are these incredible, um, gentlemen. I don't know. I, I don't know how they're so much younger than me, but they just, they have a presence about them. I, I want to call them gentlemen, but I don't know if that's apropos these days. Um, and they, uh, YouTubers that have tried all the things have struggled for success and they really came out the gate recently and just exploded onto the scene and and they're they're like the youtubers youtuber you know what i mean they interview other youtubers they're not in the watercolor space by any means but they they're such they're such smart guys they're super dupe smart and they were talking about um i think colin was saying that you know he's been prioritizing sleep way too much these days and i was like he started to say it and I'm like, what is he talking about? Sleep is good. Sleep is good. And he said, you know, I feel like to be an artist or to have a, and I'm paraphrasing heavily here. Okay. He was basically saying that to be an artist and to prioritize the creative life that there, there is a certain amount of like deprivation and living on the edge essentially that is involved in that. And it made me think that is so true because I always said when I, one of the things I was most scared at of becoming a mother, for example, was that I was going to have to like really alter my sleep schedule because y'all, I'm a night owl. All right. And no matter what I do, like my daughter started preschool. I was getting up at 7 a.m. I was, you know, getting ready, full makeup, all the things. And then slowly I was like getting up at 8.15, not even showering to get her to school, coming back home, going to bed, you know, cause I was up till 4 a.m. like working on new product ideas and, you know, writing a script for the next. And I finally realized when I heard Colin and Samir talk about this, I was like, you know what? I'm just, I am who I am, I'm an artist. And I'm gonna accept the fact that I function a certain way. And I don't know why I even started telling you this, but I think we have to be more accepting of ourselves, accepting of some of the habits that make us who we are um, and, and not worry so much about, you know, what the world tells us that, you know, how the world tells us to function in this life, you know? And I think, I mean, isn't that what this channel has been so much about, right? Just breaking those rules and and breaking away and, and rebuilding habits that don't work for me. So anyway, yeah, I'm always, I think I'm always going to be that woman that like, you know, I'm that woman rolling into the drop off line with her hair in the messy bun, just half awake, half awake. Cause I was up till 4am, no matter how hard I try, that's just who I am. Anyway, really clueless as to how we got there. Clueless. I don't know. Was that helpful? I, I feel like my retention probably just dropped like off a cliff right now. Anyway, um, yes and amen, stacks and piles. I really needed to hear that today. Thank you. Oh, Sarah, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad because I have no idea. Like sometimes things come out of me and I feel like, well, I guess uh, somebody needed to hear that today. Friends, the light is changing. It's gorgeous outside, but the light is changing dramatically as, as I'm painting here. So, you know, natural light, you get what you get, you get what you get. But yeah, friends, I think it's so important, um, to just, you know, if you have an oddball, uh, habit that works for you, work it, be okay with it. Right. And that's what I'm figuring out in this crazy life of mine. That's what I'm figuring out. At least I figured it out eventually, right? 
figure out all the things. I'm adding a different color in here, kind of a creamy olive. I like it. I like it. So, so yes, friends, this is a pattern, but is it following uh, all the sim rules of symmetry? Absolutely not. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. I wanted to paint berries. My brain's all over the place today, friends. You're getting a you're getting a deep look into the crazy scariness of my brain on a Sunday. I apologize. I apologize. I'm adding a little more red to that corally mix. I'm going in really perfectly perpendicular here, and I'm drawing. I'm going to draw some pretty precise for me berry clusters, and then you'll see what I'm going to do with them. Uh, making them imperfect and the white that I'm leaving behind. I'm, I'm trying to make sure that in most of them It's off center. All right, let's go do that elsewhere. Some are tiny Some are big But most have an off center Center So back to Colin and Samir, you know, I just love how he talked about like I've gotten way too regimented. I, you know, I'm in bed by whatever he said, nine o'clock. And it's just, you know, I feel so much less creative. And so if you're prioritizing creativity in your life, I think you have to do, you have to enable the habits or permit the habits of yourself that really foster that creativity, right? And no matter how much I want to be a morning person, no matter how much I want to look perfectly quaffed, and bright-eyed and bushy-tailed in that drop-off line, I, I just don't think it's ever gonna happen for me. And I'm okay with it. We're gonna accept it, right? But I know what comes of allowing myself those 3.30 in the morning aha moments and the sleepy ideas that pop into my head just as I'm waking up in the morning completely tired because I didn't quite get enough sleep yet, but knowing full well that I'm gonna take a nap later. That energy works for me. That energy builds the coolest paintings and the best ideas and yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I wanted you to know secretly that that's the energy this channel has been built on. <laughs> maybe that's why I brought it up. Maybe that's why I brought it up. Because I think something happens. I mean, I don't think. I know something happens as your creative journey evolves. You start to see the world so differently, right? You start to see the world so differently. And everything becomes inspiration. Oh my gosh, so that Friends episode. Do you know that Friends episode where it's a flashback and Monica and uh, Rachel are in, in Monica's mom's kitchen and... Uh, Mon or Rachel's trying to teach Monica how to like flirt with Chandler, right? And she's like, you just have to pretend that everything turns you on, <laughs> right? And I feel that way. I'm not trying to be gross, but like I feel that way about when you're, when that creative light bulb goes on, everything inspires you, right? But you don't have much control over the timing or whether it's light or dark out. <laughs> you just don't. You just don't. I hate to break it to you. So anyway, wow. A friend's reference. We are just on fire today. Now I'm going around these berries um, with a clean brush. I'm going to let them dry a little bit more. Let me go back and see how these are doing. Maybe this one. And I just want to blend out, yeah, that outer edge a little bit to get kind of a more gradient gradient of color and actually add a little bit back in there but yeah there we go now I'm gonna take a little brown I feel like I want a little brown in the centers I'm just gonna dab very lightly this one I just because I don't want it to travel too far and these are pretty wet so wet I think I'm gonna blot this one before I add the brown a little bit a little bit of brown a little bit here that's gonna travel a little further I fear than I wanted okay and then we're gonna go in and do like a scratchy brown center in these pink bad boys isn't this fun I'm filling a whole daggone page in one session I love it I never do that all right a little bit of scratchy brown with the tip of that number 12 yes I'm holding two brushes at the same time I don't know why wouldn't it be so nice if we weren't consumed with labels and comparisons? The magic you bring at whatever time you bring is a gift. 
Thank you. I love it. The Creekside homeschoolers. This is why homeschooling is so great. We feed into creativity and sleep happens when it happens. Oh gosh, I can't tell you. I, I was all set up to homeschool my son. Um, I literally have a classroom on the second floor of our house and our, he just, there, there wasn't the right, like co-op co here in our area. My boy is as social as social can be. And I just felt like it wasn't the right decision for us because he's so social. Oh my gosh, sweet little man. But I was so ready for homeschooling because we travel and we are night owls and oh my gosh, but we work it out. We work it out and he adores school and he adores his classmates. So we work it out. Well, no wonder I love your energy says peacock feathers. It's same as mine. Yeah. It's okay, Sherry. Better late than never. Better late than never. I am fighting the urge, friends, to grab that liner brush. I'm not going to do it. But what I am going to grab as a, a consolation prize here is the eighth inch dagger and do some tiny, more tiny fillers. I'm going to go straight in with the, the soft pink from my palette. And we're going to just do, with the curved edge down, some press and lift really tight, close to each other. You can use one of your fingers to brace yourself. Just make sure you don't put your finger in wet paint. And I'm just creating like little slightly arched collections of these little lines, right? And I'm just gonna scatter those throughout. And you might ask, like, well, why are you fighting the urge to use the liner brush? If you want to use it, use it. I'm just like a little mini challenge for myself. I always, I always revert to the liner brush. It's one of my favorites. It's just, but today I wanted to keep these brush strokes a little chunkier, a little bolder, and not come in with the like crispness of, or I'm sorry, with the, um, that kind of whimsy of the liner brush. So I'm just trying to see if I can create something I'm, I'm happy with without the liner. The liner, I'll be honest, a little bit of a crutch for me. It really is. Oh, I didn't put a cap on that one. Look at that. I didn't even rinse my brush. I just tapped it off a little. All right, a little cap on there. Uh, let's do some green. Well, no, wait, I need a little more. I'm literally like you're inside my brain right now. Hello. I'm just talking to myself and you happen to be listening. Good heavens, I apologize. All right, a little bit here. I'm just following the curves that are already existing. Like I'm following the curve of that green leaf there. Followed the curve of this leaf here when I added. I might, let me follow this curve a little bit. See, that's just a nice little cluster there. Um, where else? I'm just letting my eyes kind of dance around the page, looking for a spot that might need this filler. Uh, we're good, we're good, we're good. I think uh, a little bit here. Right? Now I'm going to go to a green. Maybe something like mixed with brown. Yeah, so it's darker. And we're going to go with the side of our brush getting as parallel to the paper as we can. Press and lift. Press and lift. And press lighter as you go up to get a smaller mark. Now press and lift on the other side. The angle's different. We're not going to panic. Still looks okay. Looks more natural. And we're going to go add those. Press and lift. Press, lift. You don't have to reload. In between when you switch over to the other side feel free to reload but you wouldn't even have to there as long as you had enough of a heavy load of the brush on the other side <laughs> we love being inside your brain okay I'm glad it can be a scary place I'm grateful for this today my sweet boy I think I told you earlier this week he was under the weather well we figured out what it was poor little guy has strep throat apparently in our area strep throat is going around and the freaky thing is that it's not, whatever strain is going around in our area, it's not giving like the really horrific sore throat symptoms. So we never would have known. But we took him to urgent care because he still had a low grade fever. We were afraid it was mono. I, I don't know why I'm telling you all this. 
uh, but I am, and nope, strep throat. So anywho, say a little prayer for Isaac, because he's kind of down in the dumps. Although I only feel so bad for him because we are going to um, the most magical place on earth on Friday. So he needs to just suck it up, I guess. <laughs> That's the kind of mom I am. <laughs> no, he's fine. He's really, it could be so much worse. It could be so much worse. But anyway, he's just sad. He was supposed to go to a, a thing today that he didn't get to go to. And, you know, seven-year-old seven strife. Friends, I'm still pressing, lifting these little sprays of greenery. If you're watching this on the replay, friends, go ahead into comments. Let us know that you're here on Team Replay and that you survived me talking about my son's strep throat and didn't feel compelled to leave. We appreciate you. We're grateful for your patience. <laughs> oh, I like this darkness. This is adding a little something, something. And I'm going to do a little bit more down here. With this kind of pattern, the, the key is just keeping your eye moving. Like after every time after you make a mark, a flower, an element, move your eye. Hello, Stacy. Be well, Isaac says, Sheree, thank you. I will let him know. He always gets so excited. He'll come into the studio and he'll be like, Mom, you know, after school or whatever. Mom, can they hear me? I'm like, no, honey, I'm not even live right now. He, I think in his head, he thinks I just sit around live all day long he tells his classmates that his mom is a famous youtuber i'm like sweetie i think he thinks i'm like the mr beast of watercolor which i'm not but he his frame of reference is like mr beast you know um who has like what a billion subs or something but he just thinks i'm pretty cool and i'm okay with that he can keep thinking i'm cool for as long as he wants i volunteered in his class on uh, Friday and we did watercolor monsters and it was just super fun but yeah he was he's a pretty proud boy he's proud of his mama which makes me feel good good boy I'm gonna darken up these centers even more where I put the brown before that one doesn't need it all right he's such a cutie hello Michelle from wintry western New York well I am in wintry ish northeastern pa and it is sunny out we're supposed to get some nice weather coming up this week i'm excited about it still using that eighth inch dagger from the free from fear brush set but i'm going to go perpendicular and i'm going to tap 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 and i'm going to make little clusters of dots they're not going to be perfectly formed dots i'm doing this with brown because i want some more contrast in some areas, I'm going right over top existing elements. Some areas, I'm just going in the white. And then some areas, I'm doing both. This is a great time if you've had any um, rogue spatter that, that kind of happened as you painted. This is a great way to cover it up. With these types of patterns, these are great patterns to do when you just you don't know what to paint. They, they unfold quickly. Um, they're also just easier on the brain, easier on like your inspiration reserves. Like you don't, you don't need too much going on to make something pretty cool happen. Um, and the other little tip that I have, um, or the tip that I have, I think this is the first tip I've given you about creating a pattern like this is to work larger elements down to smaller elements. And that helps you just balance your, um, I'm going to put some dots in the inside of this dinny and see how it feels. Um, so working your larger elements to your smaller just helps you control that um, composition a little better versus working all around, you know, large and small, then small, then large, then medium, then you know what I mean? Like I find that in general, now I didn't do it exactly. I was bouncing around a little, but I think in general, especially if this would be one of your first patterns of this kind, working pretty strictly big to small is going to give you um, that nice feeling of control that we kind of crave as beginners. Yeah, I like that little brown. So I'm just doing kind of a press and drag with a quick lift 
to go around those centers, give them some more definition. Yeah, this is very like folksy. Uh, yeah, a video with the kids, for the kids, would be so fun. Pokemon would be even cooler. Oh my gosh. Oh, Jan, it's okay. Watercolor monster sounds like it. It, uh, it was really fun, actually. I think it would be. I've been getting so many requests for, um, for like mom and me type art content. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm almost feeling like, is it a separate channel? Which I am so not ready for. Um, I have to, I'm doing some research, uh, cause it's, I think it's a totally different niche and I think it would need to be a separate channel, um, as to not impact what we're doing here now, which is super technical, but yeah, I am working on the content. I'm writing ideas. I'm writing scripts cause I'm inspired by it. I bought my son this book, uh, for Christmas and I bought one of his little friends, the same book. And it was like sketch with mom. Look at that light changing. Holy crow. Everything looks green now. Um, it was like sketch with mom and it's this book full of prompts for sketching um, with your son or daughter. And he loves it. Like, you know, he'll draw the body of a monster and then you draw the monster's house and then he draws what the monster had for dinner. And it's so cool. We've had a lot of fun with it. So I kind of like that. I kind of want to do things like that. I think that would be fun. Not just like crafts, because I'm not I'm not crafty necessarily. Anywho, food for thought. I love this painting. Thank you, Jan. Your content is always so beautiful. Thank you. I love the colors too. So I want to just show you what's close up, what's going on in the palette. Just using a lot of the blues and the greens and the honestly mostly the emerald green, the blue, the ivory color. I didn't touch the fluorescent, which is shocking. A lot of peach, a little pink, a little red. And that has been the color story today from the Art for Joy's Sake palette. Look at the color cup. Look at how the light is changing. Isn't that lovely? It's like, it's like watercolor light. It's like watercolor light. I love it. And just glance, Christy, man, so pretty. Thank you, Nicole. I'm loving the colors too. This has been a blast. Hey, you know what? Before we go for our live crew, let's go ahead and do a celebratory giveaway. Let's do three. Let's do three give. This is totally unprompted. I'm going to keep painting. I, um, I want to celebrate by giving back to, to y'all. Um, and I first want to say this, I'm going to give back in a couple of ways. Okay. I've done this before. If anyone right now watching this, um, is in desperate need of some type of supply. I mean, anyone. Okay. You need watercolor paper you need a, a certain color, you've run out of watercolor. Um, and I'm talking needs, friends. I'm just, I'm just being super honest here. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do some giveaways, but I'm gonna do an actual call for, we do this at church, we do, I see it in different groups where um, you do a, a, like a post on Facebook and it'll just be a post of people saying, I need this, I need this, but I have this to give. Well, I don't need anything. I don't need anything, but I have a lot to give, okay? So I'm looking for anyone with, and you don't need to call them out here publicly. I want you to email me hello at christyrice.com. And I mean this, you need watercolor paper. You need a certain color. There's a brush you need. Maybe you have no art supplies, right? Uh, and you really want to do this. I want you to reach out to me, hello at christyrice.com. And I want, I, I'm going to send you what you need. No questions asked. Okay. Seriously. I never want someone to not be painting because, you know, the life, the, the needs of life and, and, you know, the fact that eggs are a billion dollars right now as at the time of recording to prevent someone from harnessing the joy that I know happens with painting and with watercolor. Okay. So that's, let's the first thing. All right. Um, so seriously, if you're, in, if you're in true need of something, I want to hear about it and I want to get it to you. And I don't care where you live. I don't care if you're um, international. It does not matter to me. Okay. So let's get that off the plate. I am mixing a really dingy color here. I'm not quite sure why, but we'll see what happens, what I'm going to do with it. Okay. I want to do three giveaways. I don't know what the giveaways will be. Like I said, I have a, a basket full of fun stuff. 
that I discovered I have doubles of as I was um, cleaning out the studio and getting reorganized. Um, of course, there's palettes, the book, it could be books. We have um, paint your own calendars that recently came out through my, through my, um, my publisher. So it's going to be like a, who knows, it's just going to be a surprise gift for three people. Okay. So, um, let's see, let's do some trivia. Um, Oh, what trivia question could I ask? And I'm on my own today. So I'm going to need your help in telling me who answered the question first and correctly. Okay. I'm going to need your help. Okay. What is my absolute favorite color watercolor? Absolute favorite. It's not necessarily a brand specific. Um, but what is my absolute favorite color? That's the first question. First one to answer correctly wins the prize. It, it's an actual color. Neon is a very good guess. All right, I think somebody got it. Hold the phone, let me scroll back. Okay, the answer is Opera Rose, correct. Who got it first? Um, I think Opera Pink, someone said Opera Pink. Is that Amber CS? Somebody confirm that with me that Amber CS was the first one to answer that correctly. Opera Pink, Opera Rose, they're the same, just depends on the manufacturer. Somebody go ahead and confirm that for me. I'd appreciate it. And while I'm thinking of another trivia question, um, let's see. What is, let's just confirm, and friends, don't forget, yes, she was, yep, yes, Amber, please go ahead and email hello at christyrice.com, attention Kristen, let her know that you won one of the prizes from Sunday's Live, all right, all right. All right, recently in one of the lives, I showed off a new palette that I was gifted by a handmade watercolor artist, and it was in the shape of a butterfly. What was the name of that paint maker that sent me a ceramic palette in the shape of a butterfly? That is the second question for the win. Anybody got that one? I'm going to look up here soon so I don't miss it. Anybody, anybody, anybody? Let's see what we got here. Second question was recently, I was gifted a handmade watercolor palette. It was in the shape of a butterfly. Somebody got it, hold on. Uh, yeah, uh, Giconia. Uh, it was Masha's watercolors, that is correct. Go ahead and email, email us, just confirming that you were the first, truly the first one. Can someone confirm Gekonia? It's spelled G-E-C-K-O-N-I-A. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but let's go ahead and get that confirmed. Email us hello at christyrice.com. Attention, Kristen, and we will get a little surprise out to you. I'm just glazing over this original coral color in spots with just touches of a pink just I felt like we need a little bit of visual contrast a lot of coral a lot of peach going on I wanted a little bit more of that classic pink warmth I'm not going crazy with it but and I'm actually going to put a little bit of it down here even though it's not the same type of flower uh let's see yes okay third question let's see oh okay Ooh, this is gonna be a tough one uh one of my favorite tools in the studio that i believe everyone who is creative should own and should have in their house in their studio and it is a um it's a it's a tool that dispenses tape what is the name of the tool 
what is the name of the tool? The question is, one of my favorite tools that dispenses tape, what is the official name of the tool? For the last prize today in celebration of 100K. Let's see, tape dispenser. Tape dispenser. <laughs> nope, nobody got it yet. No idea what it's called, just a tape dispenser. Nope. You guys are funny. Ooh, I might have actually got you. Has a special name. I might have to put out another question. We'll see. I'm adding some veins to the leaves using my cat's tongue brush with a uh, pretty strong perpendicular hold. Not worrying about a lot of control. I'm holding it just above the ferrule. I'll give you another hint that the gun, the it is a tape gun. It is yellow most often made by a very well-known manufacturer. Let's see if anybody got it. Tape dispenser tape, I have no idea what it's called. Peacock said tape gun, the 3M, you're close. Someone said 3M, you're close. No. Oh man. Oh, oh, somebody got it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think Kimberly Onan got it. Scotch ATG. Kimberly Onan got it. Scotch ATG. Can someone confirm that she was the first one to say ATG gun? This is it y'all. It dispenses double sided tape with a trigger. It makes me feel really powerful. There it is. ATG. Um, but go ahead and email hello at christyrice.com attention Kristen and tell her that you won. Let me make sure that we got the right one. Who got it? Who got it? Did I get that right? Who did I say? Kimberly. Kimberly. Kimberly got it. All right, y'all. This has been super fun. So fun. So fun. And please remember my offer if you are in serious need of any type of art supply so that you can continue your joy chasing journey. Please let me know. It can be anonymous. You do not need to announce it. I want to get those supplies to you. This channel, this community has blessed me in countless ways. It's the very least I could do um, to kind of bless you back. So thank you. I am just adding a few more veins to these ivory leaves. I honestly feel like we need some more of these ivory leaves. I'm going to try to sneak them in somewhere in some spots because we have a lot of them going on right here, but they didn't really continue. So I'm just noticing that. I'm going to try to fix that. I don't want to make things too crowded, but... Hmm. Oh, the things we don't notice as we're in, in the moment. Oh, well. Oh, there's a good spot to do a couple. There we go. How do we feel about it, friends? How do we feel? Had it on my Amazon wish list. Had too many watercolor tubes ahead of it to get it too quickly. Yeah. Oh, what fun, what fun, friends. This has been such a blast. Thank you for celebrating with me. Thank you for painting with me. Listening to my crazy stories. And uh, I just, cheers to just more of this fun, more of this excitement, more of all the things that we have been doing that have been bringing us joy, that have been bashing the fear of being a creative individual in this life. I cannot wait to see what happens in the coming months. So much fun planned here for you friends. Uh, just, I'm, I'm so excited. Keep telling me your stories. Find me on Instagram, friends. Tag me. I'm using just the tip of this um, cat's tongue and making some really fun little squiggly, very not continuous outline type marks on some of these zinnias. Friends, one of the things I love the most, we don't have that ability really here on YouTube, is to show me the work that you're creating. 
Um, so what I love is head on over to Instagram. If you if you don't have an Instagram account and you've always resisted having one, let this be the reason you actually finally go and grab one. You can tag me at Christy the Painter. And I will, I comment on your work. I show your work. I answer questions. I do my very best to answer everyone over there on Instagram. I'm still working to get caught up. I, I'm pretty good with comments here, but I still don't get to all of them. So if you have a burning question that you absolutely just need answered and you can't continue without getting it answered, email me hello at christyrice.com and put urgent art question in the subject line. That way I know to get back to you as soon as humanly possible. But friends, ooh, this has been fun. I'm gonna go ahead and put some finished shots of this on Instagram so you can take a look at it later if you'd like to. And uh, I'm just so appreciative. Thank you for being here with me today. Thank you for celebrating. And I uh, can't wait to see what happens next. All right, friends. Yes, and all the winners, hello at christyrice.com. Attention, Kristen, and let her know that you won. All right. Oh, Jan says, you are why I made an Instagram, Instagram account. I love that. Thank you, Our Lady. Thank you. What a wild ride it's been. And I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow and the next day and all the days to come because I know it's going to be fun if you're with me. All right. <laughs> all right, friends. Take care. Happy Sunday. Happy painting.